<laughs> oh, this is atrocious. Wow. Oh, all my dreams came true. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Mobile Masochist, the series where we take a look at everybody's favorite YouTube games rammed into a pot and hammered up on the App Store. And for today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a game that you guys have been requesting for weeks now in getting over it. And with its wild popularity, I have no... Oh, no... <laughs> when it auto-fills to suggest that game, you know things are gonna be bad. <laughs> okay, it's like I was gonna say, this game has been wildly popular over the past few weeks, okay? That is when the ripoffs come out in full force, they gotta try to cash in on that momentum, so I expected there to be something here, I just didn't expect Hammer Man get over this. With a million downloads, and kind of decent reviews? What? I never even thought about what I was actually getting myself into here. Like, just think about it, okay? Getting over it is the best version of getting over it. And even then, that was a blindingly rage-inducing game. Now picture that, except for making it a little bit worse, and give it motion controls. <laughs> oh my god, this feels awful. Oh no, and this is apparently the tutorial, there's no sound, and I don't know what they're teaching me right now, other than the fact that I don't need fingerprints, I guess, because this, this physically hurts to play. Motion controls are not good. Can I do a jump? How do I, how do I do, uh, oh, okay, kind of, little, little, little bit. Oh, I'm not, I'm not trying to beat these games. No, 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 we're gonna take a look at them, but I don't have the physical or mental capacity to get through this. Your hammer sticks to stuff too. What is this? I mean, just looking at it visually, it's a pretty good ripoff. I gotta say it has a, a similar style and it actually functions, which is probably why it has some kind of decent rating on the app store. Oh, finish, finish. Easy, right? Yeah, sure, tell that to my fingertips. This game still has a 4.1 out of 5 on the App Store. That's higher than most real games, so I feel like I shouldn't write it off just yet. There's technically three levels, tutorial. Let's try the intro. Okay, I would imagine this is where we're gonna get the in-depth backstory and character development of Hammer Man, right? Hammer Man, get over it is what this game is called, I believe. I can't even remember. I'm just gonna windmill my way through this. There's no thinking. Oh yeah, just give me that momentum, oh yeah. There's a lot of getting down rather than getting over stuff, which is kind of peculiar for the game, but then again, what do I, oh, what do I expect? No, don't don't actually make me get over stuff. Uh, can I do a jump? Can I just, uh, oh, careful, uh, oh, oh. How do you, there's no way to swing around. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no freaking way. This is impossible. Can I just Yeah, there we go. Oh, the finish. The finish. Finish. I got to get it. I can't go through the sign. You got to go over it. There you go. Prepare yourself. No, I think I'm done. It was bouncy all the thing time. Plus, it was the worst sensitivity on the controls. One of the five stars. Really? It's a ripoff of getting over it? And why is the stupid guy in a cauldron so stretchy? In level two, you made me fall back almost to the beginning. And don't be sorry for that. You made me so angry that I want to turn you into a pile of pieces. One out of five stars. Interesting how the sledge has more friction than 20 pieces of 200 grains per square inch paper combined. Four out of five stars. You're probably thinking that all these games are gonna be the same, aren't you? That there's gonna be no originality, no creativity, nothing to set them apart. It's gonna be just like getting over it with the same man and the same hammer in the same pot. Well, you'd be wrong because we have person box hammer jump with another million downloads. <laughs> And I'll write reviews again? Okay, you know what? Bring it on, Boxman. 
The first game that we played had a tutorial, which getting over it didn't have, and now the second game that we're playing has local Wi-Fi multiplayer? Which I'm sure has Nintendo quaking in its boots. It's also showing my IP. I need to remember to blur that out for the video. But for now, we're gonna choose a level. We're gonna choose the number one, I guess? Yeah, there is box person. Oh, this, how does this feel worse than the first one? I didn't think this was gonna get any worse. Okay, I think my objective is gonna beat one level of every one of these games. Even if I just have to windmill my way through them, I wanna see what they have to offer. Oh my god, sick jump. Okay, that's a real sticky hammer too. <laughs> that guy in the last review wasn't lying. 20 pixels of 200 grain paper. Oh, 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 we're so close. We're so close, come on. Come on, there you go. Why is there a little shopping thing. Can I... I can buy hats and stuff for him? Are you kidding me? Oh, I want to buy something. Um, let's buy a beer hat. How much is that? The drinking hat. One coin. Do I have any coins? Oh, I had coins. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. I have a beer hat. <laughs> I like that. That's something the the real game could probably benefit from. Who doesn't like unlocking stuff and customizing their character? This does not make any sense. Oh, okay. No. Mm. I don't even know if this has levels in it. I, I don't know if I can like make progress or if I'm just wasting my time. I feel like no matter what, I'm wasting my time. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's the stuff. Um, was I supposed to be? Oh, I was supposed to go up. This is an invisible wall. Whoa, okay, yeah, that that's gonna end it for me. <laughs> I think for once, I finally have the issue of too many ripoffs that interest me. Because every time we make one of these episodes, you kind of know what to expect, right? There's always going to be a running platformer where you get coins. There's always going to be a race. There's always going to be a coloring book and a prank phone call. They just buy the same asset online and then flip it into being a trendy game. But you can't really do any of that for a guy with no legs and no voice. So all of these are kind of unique or different? I can't imagine that there are a whole lot of assets that you can flip for a guy in a pot with a hammer. So I don't really know what to expect. Uh, what should we go for next? What interest? This one's like hand-drawn. Getting it up. Overstep. And it looks like a hand drawing over the background of the actual game. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, something's fishy here. I should probably mention that everything that you're hearing in this video has been put in by me, because all of these games are dead silent. There's no sound effects, there's no music. Would it kill them to get a little royalty-free music in here? I just, I, I can't believe how lazy this is. What am I, what the, what is this? Why are you so small, and what do you mean by tap? Do I just... Oh... Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's like that old helicopter game? This is gonna be... infuriating. I, 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 I kinda wanna do well, so you can't even touch anything. You need to actually... Oh, how? Do you remember what game was more frustrating than getting over it? Flappy Bird. And they decided that they were gonna repaint Flappy Bird as getting over it. And these games are so needlessly addic addicting. I just wanna get three, okay? Can, can I just get three? Is that even possible? I'm willing to bet they're playing an ad every time I die, but I have airplane mode turned on. So you're not getting my ad. Ooh, come on, flying pop boy. Just use your blood trail oh, to get, to get, to get over it. New score of four. I'm done. I'm, I'm so done.
Unfortunately, there are no written reviews for this game, and it's got a pretty bad score, but I gotta say, this is the most fun that I've had playing any game so far this episode, and it's probably the only game that I would consider revisiting. Am I even allowed to have genuine fun on an episode of Mobile Masochist? I feel like I'm supposed to suffer through this, so how about we move on to something that looks absolutely abhorrent in getting over it with Dennett Body. <laughs> A hundred downloads! Oh yeah, I'm willing to bet that this is gonna be a real keeper. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that is a YouTuber's thumbnail. I'm not 100% sure, but you can obviously tell that this is something that was custom drawn for somebody's video, and they just downloaded it and used it, because it's not even the same art as the game, but we're gonna play, we're gonna play Challenge 1. I have no doubt that that screenshot accurately represents what we're about to go through. Right? Uh, but, but first an ad. While we wait for this masterpiece, I feel like I should mention that I'm really unimpressed with the level of clickbait that we're seeing in these games. In that there isn't enough, right? It's not difficult to come up with a really catchy title to get people to download your garbage. Uh, like, how about this? Five nights, getting over it, with my bendy neighbor. There you go. You spend $100 on game assets, you earn $105 in ad revenue before the game gets taken down, and you end up with a $5 idea. And I know what people are saying, you know, $5, that's not gonna get you far, right? No, it depends how you spend it. You could get five seconds worth of grinding from a stripper, or five days worth of grinding from Battlefront 2. It's all relative. Did that just roll over from a hundred? Who could have seen that coming? I was really hoping to see like a fake phone call or, or like I said, a coin chaser where he gets up out of the pot and actually runs and we get to see his legs, but it does look like the same clone over and over and over again. How about we try simulator getting over it? This one has 50,000 downloads, quite a few reviews, screenshots straight from the game. Oh yeah, you know, that's a good sign. No, no, the little triangle man is back. I said that they needed to get royalty free music. I didn't mean the same royalty free music that every one of these games uses. We've seen this through so many episodes of Mobile Masochist. <laughs> Little Triangle Man is a returning character. Okay, simulator getting over. Let's... Okay. We've, we've seen this before as well. This is... Oh, wait, what? I'm not... Oh my god! <laughs> I wanted a running platformer where you go after coins. I didn't think they were gonna keep them in the pond. <laughs> oh, this is atrocious. Wow. Oh, all my dreams came true. This is, this is the exact same game. We have played this game, I want to say, every episode of Mobile Masochist Bullets? Oh, man, this is just ridiculous. I know I said that I would expect this because you can't just download or buy an asset that'll give you a game like getting over it because it was so unique. I just never actually expected it to happen. This is... I... How does this happen? How does Google not see this? This sucks. I hope you die one day. I'm talking to you, weird big guy. This is such a weird game. I don't know how I fell for this. I thought this was the real game. But no, it's a fake. So I'm getting rid of it. I'm so disappointed. Sincerely, Albert Stuff. Yes. You are doing the right thing, yes? Money, 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 out of five stars. You suck, you leers. It is literally Mario, but worse. One out of five stars. This might not have been the voice for an account called Gamer Girl. Garbage. Trash. Dank. Fake. Wait, what did that last guy say? 
But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Mobile Masochist, guys. And thank you guys so much for recommending this. This was a lot of fun, ended up being really good. And if you guys wanna see another episode, be sure to leave your recommendations in the comments of this video. And if you don't have any ideas, then don't worry. I'm sure whenever a new popular game comes out, Mobile Masochist will soon follow. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.